LeBron! Going back to your um your um LeBron point, like, this is the third time he switched teams. So I think you learn and you assess your mistakes from like the first two times again. He had he once had a young point guard in Kyrie, not granted. And Kyrie. Mario Chalmers. Yeah, yeah, Chalmers. That's two young point guards, not granted. Like Kyrie is, I think, of like the reason I think Kyrie is special is because of his like mind state. Like there ain't too many Kyrie's out there. Same way it went one too many Kobe's, ain't too many Kyrie's. Yeah, he's one of the smartest guys. players in basketball. Yeah, and it's like it's not, it's just not too many guys who is not, some, like. Now I don't necessarily. I'm not gonna put that in on intelligence because he said the earth is flat. Um, but I'm, a, I'm talking I mean, about. From I feel a, like you have to I'm be. No, nah, I'm talking about from a basketball IQ standpoint. Kyrie has a very high basketball yeah, IQ. But, I, you say the world flat. I'm not gonna nah, say your IQ. Listen, your normal listen, IQ. Nah, that's, like, mm, even. Sorry. I, I I think even saying a comment like that, you have to be one who you, always hold on wait real quick real quick. You have to be one who always wants to question things. And if you're one who wants to question things, and I think that you're one who longs and searches for knowledge, no matter what the not not not, not granted. He even admitted that yo no, it's not flat. You know what Kyrie does? He do good though. No, no listen, 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 listen. He even admitted that it's not flat. But you gotta think Kyrie's a guy who came from high school, spent one year at Duke. He went to Duke. You had to be smart to go to do. Hold on, like, work with. Let me talk. You had to be smart. He probably made those comments when he was like 22, 23 years old. I was once 22 years old, my watching Mad History Channel. Now, granted, I wouldn't say the Earth is flat. Why are we talking about Kyrie or Celtic on know, a LeBron because, show? Get because, to the point. Listen, Get to the point. Because listen, because listen. Um, just saying, this is the third time Bron switched. So even if you look at what assessment went wrong between LeBron and Kyrie, no matter what you say, LeBron has to assume some blame for the relationship. No matter what. So this is what I fault, but go ahead. Whatever. Like, no, I think some of it is Kyrie's own personal desires. I think Kyrie just one who just wants more. No matter what Kyrie wants more, that's what makes you great. One who just wants more. So I think that is just Kyrie's own personal desires, but still as well, you like if you're Bron, you're the other party, you have to assume some blame. And I think that he just sees how that situation went. Now you got a whole cast of young guys. So, you know what? What did I do wrong with this situation? Uh, maybe I could have called Kyrie to come work out during the offseason. Maybe I could have, you know, interacted with Kyrie the way that Kyrie wants to be interacted with. So, I think he comes here, sees these young guys, and again, he's old. Like, it's not like Braun was coming there at the in the middle of his prime. I think that he spent his prime years in Cleveland the second time around, personally. Personally. I think his athletic prime was in Miami, but his basketball prime, when you put it all together, was in Cleveland. At this point, no matter what you want to think, I think Braun is past that level. I mm -hmm. still think that his prime is still going because he's still probably the best player in the league. But again, every year you come a little bit more back to the pack, which is why he had to add other things to his game that we didn't see in previous years because you can't do some of the things that you used to do. So you have to lean on these guys a lot so you don't want to alienate these guys. It's also their team. That too. It's, it's been their team. And again, even, to a even thinking back to Kobe, I mean, I mean, some of these guys are still left over from that era. Nah, and, and just even you thinking back to a situation, yo, we got Dan Gilbert up there, and we got uh, 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 David Griff. I think his name's David Griff. Yeah, well, okay. they had David Griff. They had David Griff. We got Magic Johnson here. Yeah. We got and, Magic and Johnson. And Genie Bus. And Genie Bus. And Rob It's Blake. a whole different situation. And you come in Cleveland, you're going to do what you want to do. No, LeBron, you are an employee. I think for the, 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 and even just even being with that, like with Pat Riley, he was an employee. I think we went back to Cleveland, he was LeBron James, pretty much the franchise. In Miami, he was an employee. And I think here he's an, he's an employee, but instead of Pat, you got magic up there. You got yeah. somebody who you, who, you know, you can relate to because in so many senses of the word, they were you before you. So I think Ron just assesses his mistakes from the other two times of leaving the franchise. And you'll say, you know what, what can I do better this time? LeBron!